YouTube. This your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, and today is the day that my second team that I follow in football, if that's allowed in the sports uh, world. Uh, you know my team is the 49ers. I rock with them die hard to the end. But as y'all know or don't know, I'm from Georgia, and I follow the Braves. Can't stand the Bulldogs because I'm a Florida Gator fan. But when it comes to football, man. Long story short, I used to be a Falcon fan for a little while, and then all of a sudden, um, they went to the Super Bowl and played some guy that, you know, named John Elway. Uh, the reason why I stopped following the Falcons was because at the coin toss, and if you ever played John Madden, the, the football game on uh, the games and whatnot, you always know you defer if you win the coin toss to get the ball at halftime. Well, Atlanta decided they were just going to take the ball first, and from then on, I wasn't even excited about the game because we all know what happens when you take the ball first. That means you got to put up and shut up. And they got shut up by the two-time Super Bowl champ, John Elway, back to back on them. So anyway, I started following uh, um, the 49ers, and ever since then, that's been my squad. But Atlanta, I've been to a couple games. Went to the 49er game earlier this year. I uh, went to the Seahawks game uh, last weekend, and now they're in the, I think, the NFC Championship playing uh, Green Bay. So I'm rooting for them so I can go up there and watch them. Well, obviously they're going to be in Houston, so I ain't going to Houston to watch the Super Bowl. But I would go to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, for the uh, the uh, last game in the Georgia Dome where they broadcast it on the Jumbotron. So hoping they win so I can uh, be a part of something special with it, you know, in Georgia. Because they ain't never really had nothing since the Braves in the 90s. But anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about this barbecue, man. It's about to go down out here. You see, I got my grill right here going. And uh, I don't know if you can see my smoke. I'm setting that one up. That's for another video. Um, I'll be posting on Wednesday. Uh, but anyway, what I'm cooking today is ribs. And it's not about showing you how to cook ribs because I got a video out there for that. But today's session is how to make ribs look pretty. Right? A lot of times you put ribs on the grill. I've done it too, and they turn out dark. Still tastes awesome. But today's video, like I said, is how to make them look pretty. So stick with me, man. We're going to go in this kitchen. I'm going to show you the secret ingredient to making your ribs look pretty. Be back a little bit. All right, YouTube, we back. And uh, like I was saying, we're going to cook some bone-in spare ribs, right? That ain't really a good price, but I got them for a hookup. I ain't pay that. But anyway, it's just a little short one. But today's video is how to make ribs look pretty. You know, a lot of times it's all about the taste, but then sometimes the ribs can taste awesome, but not have the the the, the look that you want. I'm gonna show you how to make it look like a, I don't know, like a piece of candy, man. I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna show you the trick. I'm just gonna use some simple seasoning. Some of this I got in Georgia, just barbecue seasoning and rub. Just a little bit of this nature seasoning. That's my handy go-to. And here is the key. This stuff right here, paprika. Tell you what paprika does. Doesn't really have a taste, but it will make your your whatever piece of meat you put it on have that that reddish color, that deep reddish color, man, to make it look like you're a perfectionist. It could taste horrible, but look awesome. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. Um, mix this stuff up in a bowl. Um, put some mustard on here before I. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna take the film off. I ain't gonna show y'all all that, but uh, take the film off the back of it. This little film. Uh, Season it up, put mustard on it, and put the seasoning on it. The mustard is what's going to hold all this stuff on there while it's on the smoker. Ironically, the mustard does not, um, you don't get a mustard taste when the ribs are done. But I'm going to show you that, man. These ribs probably going to take me about five hours just because of how small it is. But uh, we might be might be doing the 2 two, one method today just because of how small it is. Um, may do the 3-2-1 three, three, method. I got to look and see uh, how, long, how it looks at the two-hour mark. But we'll uh, see you at the grill in a minute. Actually, hold on. I'm going to come back. And I'm gonna show you how I put the rub on there. So you, if you never seen mustard rubbed on there, I'm gonna show you that in a minute. So be back in a second. All right, YouTube, we back. Just using some classic mustard. This does say spicy, but uh, like I said, you won't even taste it. Simple, man. You just without going in all the details, just put enough mustard on there. You want to rub it in. Like I said, the film is already taken off of it. You want to rub it into the meat. You massage it into the meat. All right. 
let this marinate for about three to four hours. Just because it's a small, it is on the smaller side for a rib. Like that. Let it sit. Like I said, nothing special. Just put that on there. Then come back with your seasoning. Pretty simple. Easy day. So we're gonna let this sit, rest. You'll start to see it sweat. That means the flavor's going into the inside of the meat. And then we'll go from there. Fold that up. Make it a mess in my kitchen. Why have to? I mean, hurry and get this up for the wife and kid. But anyway, you get the picture. We're gonna let this, I'm gonna wrap this in saran wrap. And then we're gonna come back when I get ready to put it on the grill, y'all. I'll see y'all in a little bit. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. B. The grill is ready. It's about 275. Once I put the meat on, it will drop down to about 245, 250-ish. And I'll maintain it using my little uh, openings right here, my dampers. At the bottom, you can see I got smoke going. I use wood chips, um, cherry flavor, because cherry seems to make a, uh, the reddish color flavor. These are my ribs. I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. So you can see they are bright red. Yes, paprika, only way to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap them on there real quick. Well, ribs, one slap, and then go from there. Place it over on the side. And just put the top on, easy day. We're gonna let this go. Remember, this is not about how to cook ribs, this is how you make them pretty. So just bear with me as I go through this process. I'm gonna show you how they look, how bright red they are. We go through the process. We we'll back in a little bit. What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Mr. B. We back. Let me see. First time looking at these ribs. See the color on them? How deep and red they look? That's what you want. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these, man. Just go ahead and put them on some uh, before they get too dark. And then we're gonna go from there. All right. We we'll back in a little bit. We back in the house, man. Somebody snuck in, uh, put barbecue sauce on my, my, my ribs. Um, as you can see these bones, let's see here. Let's see here. I could probably pull that one out. Oh, snap. Yeah. That's how tender they are. Look at that. No meat on the bones. There we go. There we go. Anyway, I wish y'all could see it, man. My lighting is kind of poor. Some of these are firm. Uh, what not. I'm about to grab me a piece of this. Anyway, I wish y'all could see the doggone mahogany color on it, man. I'm going to cut them up and then tear them up in a minute when they cool off. But anyway, man, I wish this lighting was better. Uh... They dark red, cherry red, man. Uh, anyway, that's the rib. It started to tear apart, as you can see, like here. Look here. Matter of fact, let me do this. Man. Let me show you how it is. Look at that. Get a close up. See how bright red it is? Anyway. That's how it real looks. Hey, this is for me anyway, so I ain't worried about it. I think somebody else got plans. But this is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And holla at your boy, man.